They're like two of the things I dislike the most. Oh, really? Cherry pie is the best pie. Apple pie can suck my d What's up? What's up, friends? So today we are going to be tasting and ranking Trader Joe's frozen dessert. Originally, we were gonna do every dessert, but then we got there and we realized that there are too many. We do have like frozen ice cream bars, but any ice cream that comes in like a pint or a quart, we counted yes. that out because it would have taken 60 years. There are literally 29 Trader Joe's frozen dessert. There's so many. I love Trader Joe's. I also love Trader Joe's. I remember when it first opened near my house when I was a kid, one time, I stole a clementine accidentally. I feel like if you don't like cooking, Trader Joe's gets you like two thirds of the way there. Mm -hmm. They're like, you gotta do the last third on your own, but we are gonna give you a little push. Right off into the ledge of Mouth Canyon. I visited there once with an old flame. I feel like you go there with every flame. Yeah, yeah. Yeah, love Mouth Canyon. So Jen and I love to eat food together. We know that like our friend Keith does videos where he eats everything at McDonald's. Matt Stoney does videos where he'll order everything at a fast food restaurant and eat it. Basically, <laughs> We've been asked to do eating videos, mukbang type style videos for a while. Also forgive me if I'm saying mukbang wrong. <laughs> and we always sort of said no because we had already eaten lunch. We just love Trader Joe's. They have so many desserts. I haven't eaten lunch and my dinner was a light, huge thing of fried chicken. So I just want to eat some desserts. Here's the thing. I've thought about this very methodically. We are overestimating how much dessert we have in terms of stomach space. So we need to be very judicious and mm -hmm. take breaks and take tiny bites. And we're going to put them into three categories. Just okay, pretty good, and great. Yeah. And then at the end, we're gonna rank them and we must agree on the ranking. So it won't be that hard. Yeah, I mean, I feel like we're gonna have a lot of tie votes. <laughs> I think chocolate ice cream is the worst flavor of ice cream. I think you are saying really horrible, hurtful things to me right now. I think chocolate ice cream tastes like Play-Doh. It doesn't matter. What, do you like vanilla ice cream? You Okay. Favorite What's your dessert? favorite dessert? Is oh. it apple pie? No. I like tiramisu. I like chocolate-based desserts. You know, I like, like hazelnut. No, because chocolate ice cream doesn't taste like chocolate. Yeah, whatever. It tastes like paste. Okay, keep going. It tastes like a boring... You know what? I want you to stop. Oh, this is going to be a day. Should we dig in? Yes. The first dessert we're going to be trying today is Trader Joe's tiramisu, which is melting a little bit. So we've already unboxed these, obviously, and Jen has definitely unboxed the living crap out of this dessert. It looks like sell. a bear got into it. Let's do it. It has a good coffee coffee flavor, it's very creamy, it's not too coffee-y, mm -hmm. and I'm already breaking my rule, I said I was only gonna have one bite. I know, this one's good. <laughs> Tiramisu is officially really great. great. <laughs> you already get it off the table. Yeah. Next is the cheesecake. It's specifically the New York deli style baked cheesecake. Yeah. It's a little lumpy. Yeah, it kind of tastes extremely average cookie dough. Mm-hmm, yes. New York Deli style cheesecake. Just is. okay. Macaron au framboise. I don't like raspberries. I do like raspberry. Oh my god. Wow. I already feel kind of sick. Oh, brilliant. I'm a savory meats person. I think the raspberry is honestly the best part of it. Yeah, great. The cream and actual cakey crust is kind of indistinguishable from each other. It's just okay. This is the chocolate almond butter tart. tart. Also my senior quote. Jen Ruccarello. Chocolate, chocolate almond butter, butter tart. tart. Class of 2011. <laughs> I actually really love almond desserts and I like chocolate, so I have high hopes for this one. I don't love almonds. I think almonds are just kind of there. I like that. Those are really good. The chocolate is present, the almonds are present, and it's got a decent texture. It's not too soft. Chocolate almond butter tart, pretty good. <laughs> pretty good. The next thing we're gonna try is the tart O fruits, which is a mixed berry tart. I think berries have been like leaning on their reputation for being really tasty for a long time. And I think it's time for berries to step down. The two main ingredients are raspberries, sugar, and then blueberries. This looks like something that you would serve at your Thanksgiving dinner. Oh, whoa. I hate this. This is genuinely a case of the berries are good. How much sugar they do they drowning. add to that tart? <laughs> this is a category we didn't think we were going to have to use, which is bad. Sorry, France. Your tart of fruit was disappointing. I don't think France made this. Oh, it does say product of France. <laughs> Why are you still eating? We both agree this was bad. I just want lunch. The dozen sweet bites. We have raspberry cake. I don't like it. I don't like it either. Chocolate and coffee opera cake. Oh, that's great. Oh, you don't like it. It's okay. And a caramel and chocolate cake. Oh, it's crispy. The texture of whatever's on top. I think it's the caramel. It's like chunky. I'm really disappointed. I thought these were gonna be the best ones. We love cute things. You betrayed me. This is just okay. Get out of here. Get out of here. Six down. 23 to go. Oh, this is gonna take two days. 
Next, we have Berry Crazy. Dark chocolate covered strawberry pieces. Oh, that's why they're so tiny. The chocolate is good. I love the texture of the frozen strawberry. I do not. It tastes like it's freezer burned a little bit. This is solidly just, just okay. okay. Cold brew latte dessert bars. And so as not to waste more than one popsicle, we are simply gonna cut off little pieces. Just the tip. No, nope, that's not gonna work. Nope, here, he's working. Here we, here we give it to me. This is gonna take longer. Oh, I did it. That's not bad at all. This might be my favorite thing. I'm gonna venture so far as to give this a lick. I'm sorry, you can't have it back. So if you want any more, well, now I may not give it a lick. <laughs> Brain freeze. Uh -huh. Did you eat that cold thing a little bit too fast? Uh -huh. Maybe should you have slowed down? Mm -hmm. All right, this is pretty, pretty good. good. You wanna toss it just in that little, there you go. Jordan, ice cream bonbons. What are they flavored? Vanilla. That's it, that's so boring. <laughs> Vanilla has a place, okay? You yeah, need in the trash. <laughs> This is like a Mickey bar at Disneyland, but yeah. better. That cooking crust is exquisite. Pretty good dessert. Oh, sh our lunch is here. I'm gonna call him. The next dessert we'll be trying is the brownie coffee crisp ice cream sandwiches. At first I was excited. I think it's too coffee. It's very sugary and it's kind of uncomfortable. It's if just you... okay. Okay, will you please put the Cheetos down? I don't want to hear you complain in 45 minutes about how you're full. So next we're doing these chocolate-filled grapes. They look like chocolate-filled craps. Mm. No. They just look a little sad. They look like little burnt fingers. They also look too thick to be, to be crepes. crepes. That is not good. The chocolate is somehow sour and also too sweet at the same time. I think this goes in the very coveted penalty box. Not a good showing for France. <laughs> Next. Canelle de Bordeaux. Oh, it seems like it might be French again. <laughs> they look like two Art Nouveau little boobs. Oh, it is a rubbery texture we got going on here. Love that. Oh, it's not terrible. The texture really threw me off. The more I eat it, the more I'm like, I think I like this. I mean, I think it's bad. I you like it, which means just okay. I'm sorry. I hope we're still friends. We're not. Well then. Enjoy your new best friend. Mango and cream bars. I'm curious to find out what you think of these because you don't like fruit very much. I do like fruit. It's only like fruit-based desserts. And oh, then I okay. think for popsicle sake, we should suck it. I'm like mad, they're delicious. I've had these before and I eat them regularly. I think the tanginess of the mango is balanced by the cream of the cream. These are really good. Funny thing is about the next five desserts we have are all mochi. Matcha green tea mochi ice cream. I have a feeling it's really gonna depend on the flavor of the ice cream because mochi is mochi. I like it. Not the best mochi I've ever had. It's a little bit bitter. This one might be just okay. Coffee mochi with a saucy mochi center. And I don't really know Know what that means. Does it have like an ooey gooey center? No. No. It's weird to have coffee that bitter in something that's so cold. Honestly, the best part about that is the mochi. Same. Penalty box I bad? Some penalty box bad. <laughs> More mochi. <laughs> but this time, it's a flavor that we know Trader Joe's can do really well, which is mango. This is, so this is not necessarily ice cream. This is like actual oh. mango inside. And that's pretty delightful. It's okay if you don't like it. I don't. I think the problem is mochi part melts really fast and the frozen fruit is like frozen. I like them. You don't. They're just okay. Thai tea mini mochi. I'm curious about this because Thai tea is a pretty mild flavor. I think if you like Thai tea, it's pretty good. This one somehow tastes kind of burnt. Someone left the Thai tea on the kettle a little bit too long and yeah. now we're getting Thai crumbs. It's just okay. So our last mochi yeah. is mochi strawberry. It doesn't separate quite as easily as the other mochis. Texture's a little weird. I I like it. It's real good. I guess it's the best mochi we've had. Cookie ice cream sandwiches. Let's each bite an end. Oh my God, it's like Lady in the Tram. As soon as I just made that idea, I was like, these are too small. Ooh, these are really good. When you compare it to other cookie ice cream sandwiches Ooh. I have, pretty good. Trader Joe's soy creamy mini vanilla sandwiches. Oh, not bad. Mm. You hate this. I don't love the soy ice cream. The soy ice cream. This one is pretty good. <laughs> I feel awful. Fruit Frenzy Bars. This has three different flavors, raspberry, lemon, and strawberry. So I think we should taste each layer. If this bar could just be made out of the strawberry and the raspberry part, I would be like, yes. Well, if it averages out to good, 
Okay and good. I would say this is pretty good. The lime, lime fruit, fruit flows. flows. If you want lemonade, but as a popsicle. You found your guy. This is it. I think this is pretty, pretty good. good. My hands are very sticky. The raspberry and vanilla cream bars. Now we had close cousin of this earlier, which was the mm. mango cream bar. This adds vanilla to the whole equation. I don't love the vanilla. I like this a lot. Wow, I'm liking a lot of fruit-based desserts today. Put it in the pretty good pie. French macarons. They have very vanilla and very chocolate. Well, and they are considered lusciously French. The French have not been doing very well this whole video. They have been really letting us down. It's like a little hamburger. It does taste a little artificial. And macaron has to have like kind of a flaky outside. Yeah. And this is a little soggy. And it's because they were frozen. Yeah. Yo, that is some artificial vanilla as well. I'm not a fan. I think these are just okay. Last five desserts. We Get are with desserts, girl. <laughs> Okay. <laughs> these are apple blossoms. They're fully baked. I don't really like apple dessert. I don't know what these spy apples are, but they are delicious. I think these are pretty great. Our next item is more macrons. Oh. We have fig, lemon, apricot, coconut, pistachio, and salted caramel. Oh, f we gotta try all of these. This is a salted caramel. The actual cookie is much crispier yeah. than the previous macarons we had. I don't even like caramel that much, but that's decent. This is pistachio. That's pretty good. That's a great pistachio. Wow, this... Apricot is a little bit artificial. I don't love the apricot. Big. Ooh, that's good. Coconut. I usually don't love artificial coconut. Hit me with that nut. <laughs> This one is very, very sugary. Tastes like lotion. Or these are lemons. Tastes kind of like a weird lemon bar. Everything through coconut is like solid. Coconut and lemon are just bath products. So I would say this is still pretty, pretty good. good. How many do we have left? Is it three? Three. Three. Oh God, give me strength. The lava cake. It's very dry, it's very dense. It's not my favorite. In fact, I think it's just okay. Mini mint ice cream mouthfuls. I'm taking the world's smallest bite of this. Not if I take it first. Pretty good. Yeah. Fast is up. <laughs> the oh. final dessert we're going to be trying is mini hold the cone ice cream cone. Cheers. We did, did it. it. You broke mine. Oh, so good. Really great. We tried every frozen dessert from Trader Joe's. Can you imagine if we tried to do ice cream too? No. Do I look normal? Yes. Of all the desserts we tried today, my top three were tiramisu, vanilla ice cream cones, and my number one, as always, mango and cream bars. My top three are the tiramisu at number three, the apple blossom at number two, and at number one, the ice cream cone. My bottom three are the fruit tart, <laughs> coffee mochi, and the French crepes. Oh, the French crepes. I think we have so the same bad. bottom three. Honorable mention to worst dessert is definitely to those vanilla and chocolate macarons. Here's the thing, we taught you all about awesome desserts, and we have had fun doing it. Mm -hmm. Trying every frozen dessert at Trader Joe's. Lady tasted. Lady, Lady tired. Of we tried the one. We're tired. <laughs> Cut.